England Seven superstar Rob Vickerman and Vicks. Isn't it great to be back in the City Love? It is indeed, and what a way to start this off for us to be watching the absolute trailblazers. Fiji have set this series alight, and I cannot wait to see how they're going to come out fire. And fair play to Scotland, they've got some task in front of them. They do. They have got players, though, that will be riding high on confidence. Selected in the wider Great Britain training squad for Rio. The likes of Robertson and Farndale, Riddell also, whilst Fiji, well, there are some big-name players back in the white of Fiji. Very, very to come off the bench. Nakarawa in the starting side and returning back into the Fijian Sevens jersey is Tuasoba in the number eight jersey for this one. Fiji finalists in our most recently completed leg of the HSBC World Rugby Seven Series going down to Kenya, Rob Vickerman, and that caught a few of us by surprise in Singapore. It did indeed. He shot waves around the world. People not necessarily expecting Kenya to do well, but fair play. They got stuck in, and when you do rattle the Fijians, they do have a tendency to sometimes break a little bit, but that's going to take one thing. It means that Scotland need to try to match their physicality, and look at the size of this Fijian team. That's going to be a hell of a task today. Big, big, big men on this Fiji team. There he is, Tuisova. Just then, with a slick do, ready to go. Get about his work, and it'll be Scotty White, the captain for Scotland, getting this one off and running. And just like that, it's Vera Malil with another offload in the stats column. One of the most prolific on the series. He's magic with ball in hand and has it now. Clears wider to Ravovo. Just happy to push across the park and say to the man, returning to his sobat, what do you got cracking? Right off the bat, it's magic from Fiji, steaming away. Now the one-handed pass goes back to the man, back in the white of Fiji. Tuasova's in. It's a ripper from Fiji. I think we've got to start with a bit of a disclaimer here, Shorty, that this is a size five rugby ball. Believe it or not, Tuasova making this ball look like a little peanut. Look at these offloads, one hand free, riding the tackle, winning the collision, flicking the ball up, and look, at the skill set here. No shock to anybody watching in the uh, Pro 12, Dakaraga, he does that time and time again. That man will not be stopped with the ball. If they're not playing rugby, they should be playing volleyball. Yeah, volleyball or perhaps in the NBA, part of the playoff series on and running at the moment. That was special. What a way to get things cracking in Paris. The Fijian Perler, Rob Vickerman. Almost out of breath from that, Shawnee. It was pretty spectacular. Well, we expect big things and dazzling tries from Fiji, but to produce a gem like that on day one. Oh. Back to play now ball with Scotland. And good footwork there from counter Hoyland. good. Good counter-ruck counter good. No from answer. Fiji. You hear the words there of our referee, Rasta Rasavengi. Or dummy, the show and go from Ravovo. Now goes deep. Conditions excellent for Sevens here in Paris as it drifts across the park to the captain, Colin Nisau. Colin Nisau. Vera Malua. Manage. Now comes Move. loose for Scotland. Move Vantage over. Back in the tackle there was Vera Malua, but Scotland have done well to retain possession, and Bryce sets off. For the try line and can canter in, dots it down. Scotland get their first try in Paris. Not quite as flamboyant there from Bryce, but equally as important getting the level score. We see the ball off the floor, really important tactic. People don't necessarily focus on that as a skill, but it's a great offload to have. It means that if there's no sweeper in behind, as we saw there, all Fiji seven plays were up in the defensive line. Bryce gets the run in unopposed for a score to get them back in the game. Virgin attempt is away to the right, so score remains. Fiji 7, Scotland 5. And there's Robertson, potential Olympian. You're watching on your screen right now. Someone that really has to lead the way for this Scottish team. They like to pass a bit. James Johnson was seeing there, someone who can exploit it with his fast feet. But when Scotland have the ball, when they do turn the ball over, they have got to be as clinical as that 
for the next 13 minutes of this game. The restart is well weighted. Fair contest. And coming through and pulling it down beautifully was Poyland. Terrific Off the work foot. from Scotland now. It's scrappy and they're going to need numbers there. Release to help. Release Over the top Can goes Nakarawa. Plays lock in the 15 aside game but has the skills of a fly half. Speaking of skills, here they go again. Fiji. I'm happy. One hand passing only for the moment. Two hands need not apply. Good defence though from Scotland as they pile into the breakdown and excellent work in fact to have them in possession. 40 from the try line. Right. Start a step from Robertson. PG read it well. Vantage. Loose. Yeah, off a of white hand, yeah. Mm, the perhaps has shown a little lack of firepower from Scotland there. They have the ball, they move the ball, but they've not got the capabilities to really finish off these half line breaks that we see the Fijians. I mean, it really is spectacular when these men have the ball. It's like watching the Harlem Globetrotters. No look passes, okay, they know where the men are going to be. Their grip first is sensational. Run. And one thing I'll pick first you up run. on, Shawnee Ben Ryan finish. is known for setting first challenges run. in Wait games to finished. only pass the ball Wait with one hand. Finish. That's the skill level that these guys do possess. They're having a laugh, is what they're doing. <laughs> they're just enjoying it, and, and it makes us enjoy it too. Fine. Most of those errors made whilst trying to create, though, they wouldn't worry Ben Ryan a great deal. Nice work here from Bryce, the try scorer. Play on, general play. Back it comes. There was no ruck form, so Fiji are able to come back and <laughs> recommence with a one handed sevens rugby. Okay, here it is with Twistova. Tuisova has one try, and guess what? You can mark him up for another. A dream way to get things moving and shaking in Paris for Tuisova. Tuisova, he's that good, he even tried to take on the posts as he bounded his way through here, but it is just laughable, the preceding element to that just before you saw it. Nakarawa, once again, getting his seven foot long arms free, getting the ball to this man, Look at that, takes on the pad, pushes it over. We saw errors, it's a part of their game, they accept that, because they can do things that no one else on this circuit can do. It's formidable. The extra two are good, off the boot of the captain, Kalini Sao, and Fiji open up a nine point lead. Big emphasis now on Revuvu. They do a lot of work on their set piece, which incorporates restarts. This is a game that they're now excelling in. The ball, more than likely, will be batted back toward their Back's team. Just hitting a little skinny on that occasion, and it'll be Leave Scotland it. restarting on the halfway line with the free kick. Yeah. So Ben Ryan, the Fijian coach, added five players to his squad. He's got a squad of 17 for Paris and London. And, I mean, some of the players he's brought in, one of which has scored two tries already, are just right off the top shelf. He has got one of the hardest jobs in world rugby. You could pick 300 teams of Fijians, yet alone one for the Olympics. That awaits us in August. For now, though, we are ticking along nicely in the HSBC World Rugby 7 Series, two stops ago, Paris and London. You are watching the ladder leaders, Fiji, up against Scotland here in Paris. Nice work at the back there, getting through the line is Blake. Excellent work from Scotland here and now with Robertson. Clears the pass back. Across the park to Bryce and he's going to go to the quick man, Johnson. Johnson, stutter. Stepping and checked in the run. It'll come back for Fiji, picking it up his revolver. And some trouble here again for Scotland. That back ball looked to be flat, real flat. Now in the arms of Vera Malua. Vera Malua gets past the defender with absolute ease. Fiji, the pre-tournament favourites, looking the goods early on. 
Nice combination there. Vermalua finishes off. Believe it or not, Fiji have claimed half of the DHL Impact Player Tournament awards, and you've just seen three of them in action right away there. Taliga doing what he does, creating opportunities. Vermalua again making the ball look like it's a mini rugby ball as he puts it down to score his try. Ravovo is the man now charged with taking the shots a goal and it's good from in front at half time. Fiji are clear of Scotland by 16 points. It's I've got to pick up a point there, surely. The language the coaches use is absolutely incredible. We saw Scotland there talking about principles, talking about structure. Ben Ryan, what did he say to his men? Go out there, go for it, enjoy it, and have some fun. And that typifies the difference between these two teams at this moment. So day one here in Paris, we'll see each side play the one game, eight games, here on Friday night. Some excellent matchups to come to France. Many tipping France to go deep here at their home tournament. We've seen that as a trend, particularly this year with the home sides going deep into the tournament. France, Canada, Argentina, United States. That too will be a good one. Right now, though, it is Fiji v Scotland. Now, third game on day one with the men from the South Pacific, Pacific rather, three converted tries to their name. Good footwork there coming from Naya Favo, and he gets the pass away to Johnson. Contesters good. Good clean out from Scotland at the breakdown there. Now with Bryce collared by Nayathalebu. Slight bit of indiscipline from Fiji here. Four times in this game we've heard turnover good. Not a word, not a saying usually put towards the Fijians, but we've seen there's some great breakdown skills. There, just a little bit of indiscipline. They've got to make sure the release is really clear. Rasta Rekaveni, he's a really experienced referee. He knows exactly what okay, he's looking tumble, for. Tumble. You've got to be clean in the breakdown. So with the benefit of the penalty, Scotland set play in motion. Terrific charge there from Fife. Favo again. No way through. Ravovo making the stop shot on him. Tackle only. Tackle only. Superb running from Robertson. Scotland's top Tackle try scorer was hammered, but his lead up work was sharp and a chance for Scotland to score the first try of the second half. Oh! Big try saver coming from Fiji. Again, discipline. Great work from the Fijians, knowing when to make the hit. Look at the desperation, what exuberance in their defence, slapping the ball out as he goes to put the ball down there. Blake and Lucky in the corner, but for me, this Fiji team is playing like they're possessed, their spirit in defence and their flown attack really is setting the standard. Time off, please. Scotland with the throw of the line out after two eye. Punch the ball Stand clear, trying to come, make come that try saving tackle or affecting that try saving off. tackle. They're not out of jail just yet, the Fijians. Okay, time back on. Oh, the line out throw misses the mark, and Fiji gonna counter the long ball across the field. It goes to the flyer, Viri Viri. Viri Viri, here comes Sevens try number 99 for Viri Viri. I could watch Viri Viri go full flight all day. Looks like he's got a stone in his shoe, but it all comes from the turnover at the line out. You can't win your own ball, you're going to struggle. What a cutout pass there, 15 yards, put perfectly in front of him, and watch him trot it in. The sight you're well versed in seeing. Very, very back on the series. Ben Ryan 
may not have the budget some of the other countries, but he is blessed with riches of talent. Very, very the top try scorer back in 2014 for Fiji and also crowned the World Rugby Sevens Player of the Year as well back in 2014. The try scorer there, Samasoni Viri Viri. He's chasing a skipper, Oscar Too Clear. Could get a bit heated, that one. Lavovo. Tidy take at the restart from Scotland. <coughs> Reloading back inside there was Riddell off the pass of back out. Hoyland, who's been busy. There he is again, fishing it out and playing scrum half. No Favo down in back play. It's six on seven for the moment. Fijians with the extra man in defence. Gonna exactly make going it. tough for the Scots. It's a little dummy. And then the bump from Hoyland. He sides Come best. Back, good. You're playing it on the ground, yeah. He's going real well, Damien Hoyland, Rob Vickerman. Yeah, yeah, come back out. He's an impactful player, he comes on, brings a lot of presence, he's a powerful young man. I think the game changer for me is looking at Scott Riddell. He's someone that can really impact. He's trouble for Scotland again. Here goes Viri Viri. Viri Viri. Here comes his 100th try. Viri Viri is back big time, baby. Sammy Sony, very, very. He's a man, really is so good. They name him twice. You get him the ball, he will do things. <whistles> Gliding down the outside, as he's done countless times before. I mean, how formidable is it that this Fijian team can bring back in players like that? It really does set the world alight. The chip shot from in front is good off the boot of Talinga. Very, very congratulations. 100 five pointers as. One of Scotland's number one strike weapons hobbles from the field. That's a big loss. Um, best teams I've ever played and usually have a couple of Fijians in. So Scotland have deployed a similar tactic and real shame to see okay, Nathan Avery walk Let's off the go. pitch because he is someone that does, like you say, strike the match for this Scottish team. Scooting through and picking that up was McLennan for Scotland. Hustling his way into possession. <coughs> the offload. Vantage. Back inside, misses the mark, and now footwork delivered. Always a pleasure to see Taliga score the tries. He's an impact man and it's an impact play. Turnover in the middle, bit of indiscipline, poor skill there from right. Can't quite pick the ball up, but that left foot step. Can't get anywhere near a man that can move that far without losing pace. Conversion attempt is wide left. Couple of ticks of the clock. Left in this one, where Fiji are up by 33. There's our rather unique full-time... Would you call it a hooter, Rob Vickerman? More of a squawk, I'd say. Squawk? A crow, rather. Yeah? Well, meant, probably meant to be a cockerel, I guess. They crow, don't they? They <laughs> do now. Scotland. Just looking to fix the points differential. After running into a... Red hot, a rampant Fiji on day one. Each mistake has been punished. Oh, there's maybe an ounce of bounce back ability from this Scottish team, but just not quite enough to get across that final hurdle. This Fijian team improving their defence, but need to try and improve their discipline and, and responses at breakdown. So that'll be the third. Favoured side winning here on day one. Opening proceedings was Kenya. 
getting it done. Then New Zealand and now Fiji will win, but maybe Scotland can finish strongly. It's seven on six for the moment. The Scots must score here, surely. Numbered up well. Fiji not committing anyone to the breakdown there. And they won't be able to stop the rampaging Riddell. He goes in to make it 38-10. Scott Riddell having a bit of a dive at the post. It's a bit of a man test this, isn't it? Do you fancy tackling me? Taking yourself out in the process, but scores one. A little bit of something for Scotland, but I don't think many people have been watching their capabilities. For me, it's all about this Fiji team. They are really are. Thanks, setting man. standards just by doing the simple things. While Scott Riddell will always have endeavour, you cannot stop something you cannot see. Full time. Fiji 38 have defeated Scotland 12. The series leaders are flying. And I'm